Welcome to Jimbo Jitsu's Farmhouse Show. Hi Diego. Howdy YouTube. Today we're going to be cooking up some rack of lambs that we've marinated and we're doing it barbecue pit boy style. I sent them a message and they replied back on advice on how to do this so we're following their steps. We're also going to hit it with some spam and some hot and spicy spam because once again I was watching barbecue pit boys and I saw their bologna, smoked bologna barbecue style and that looks so good. I tried it with spam and it is awesome on spam. So that's what our show is going to be about today. And we might have a pork roast and uh, yeah, I think we might have a pork roast coming on too. But this is what we're going to focus on. Charcoal chimney. You put the paper underneath that grate and then you fill up your chimney with charcoal and you light it and the paper smolders and it causes enough heat that the charcoal combusts without lighter fluid. Welcome to Jimbo Jitsu's Farmhouse Show. Today we're going to be barbecuing some rack of lambs, low and slow, here on the brink. I uh, sent a message over to Barbecue Pit Boys and they replied back telling me how to do this. So we're going to do this Barbecue Pit Boy style. Thank you for watching our show today. So you just take your charcoal chimney and you can wait till it turns white or you can dump it in now. It's not smoking so it's pretty much all burnt off. That's probably one I need it for this next step. Cool. All right, I just shoveled some of the coals out of the way. All right, here we are barbecuing uh, Jimbo Jitsu's Farmhouse Show. Sent a message out to Barbecue Pit Boys on how to best do a rack of lamb, and they said to uh, sear it and then mow and slow. Here's a searing process. I'll give that about a minute. In the meantime, we're going to use an old barbecue trick, a uh, pork butt barbecue trick, ribs too. Let's put a pan of water underneath where the ribs are going to go low and slow. We got that ready. And Almost time to flip those. I put these in a marinade overnight. And it, you know, that took a total of like two minutes, and it's pretty well braised all the way around. So now we're going to get the coals back over in the firebox where they belong, and low and slow this. Barbecue pit boy style. Thanks a lot for the tip. And that modification of adding those bricks makes it so I almost have a, a level place here. Of that big metal lip that was a pain in the behind. Anyways, I shoveled some coals up there because it was too hot for the lamb to braise right. I'm bringing them back now. Modifications look like they're working. We're barbecuing up some rack of lambs. We're doing some spam too. It's pretty good. Uh, saw barbecue pit boys do bologna uh, one time and I thought, man, that makes spam taste pretty good, and you know what? It does.
put the pork here and I've got the ribs bone side up like uh, barbecue pit boys suggested. Because I'm in the Pacific Northwest, it's at night. I did drop five coals at this end of the brink bin, and there are currently some under where the spam is, about five or six, but I'm going to pull those back off now that I'm done braising all my stuff. I just wanted to get a little heat on the spam. Alright, got to thinking about it, and with the modifications, I came out and checked the temperature. I'm already at medium. I don't know. Alright, kind of got carried away with eating all the lamb. It's so good. See how tender that is? Look at that. And that red at like 150, which is medium, but I think I need to get new thermometers or. The marinade worked very well. It has a little bit of sweet vinegary taste to it from the vinegar and red wine. Very good, ma'am. Did you like it, honey? What's that? Mm -hmm. She's got her mouth full, she can't say. She can't stop to talk. And it's that easy, folks, right here on Jimbo Jitsu's Farmhouse Show. Hi, Diego.